So good afternoon, uh, Sean. Yeah. Thank you very much for allowing us to uh, be here today. Mm -hmm. It's an honor. So basically, Philjet, since uh, the beginning of uh, our inception in 2013, we always wanted to grow uh, business aviation in the Philippines. Why? Because the uh, business aviation is a portion of uh, the, uh, the aviation sector that aim to uh, develop, that, that can uh, enable business to be developed uh, more. And so for us, we need to grow. We need to, if we don't grow, we will go down. Why? Because we constantly need to uh, invest in training mm -hmm. uh, for our pilot, for our technician. Safety is the major uh, uh, factor mm -hmm. in aviation. And in order to, uh, to, to get more training, we need to grow our business. And for that, we need to look for a new area of development. So going to And this is all organic one. growth. Exactly, right. all organic growth. Okay, however, you did say, of course, you have to invest a lot. Well, we all know how much these machines cost. Yeah, they're yes. not cheap. So yes. you actually are expecting the delivery of a Bombardier Challenger in the first quarter of the year mm -hmm. and purchasing a Cessna Citation XLS this year as well. On top of that, uh, in last quarter, you did purchase two new Airbus H130 mm -hmm. helicopters and you have more choppers coming in in the latter part of the year. Why did you diversify into jets and why are you still maintaining your bullishness or your optimism on helicopters? Actually, we, we mainly lease, we don't purchase. Oh, okay. Um, so um, our business model is that we don't own our, uh, the asset oh, uh, right. so that we don't uh, impact on our uh, uh, bottom line too much. So basically, mm -hmm. uh, the leasing is very common in business aviation worldwide, uh, in the US, in, uh, even in China now. So basically, as far as we are growing, we need to develop this aspect. Um, and uh, why we are going to the jets? Mm -hmm. uh, simply because uh, Manila, the Philippines, is growing 7% uh, per year in uh -huh. GDP and there are more and more investors coming, uh, more and more potentials, and we need to cater to this market. Why? Because we need to bring these uh, people in the Philippines rather than them going to Thailand, Malaysia, uh, or Indonesia, which are today much advanced compared to the Philippines in terms of business aviation. So we need to go into jets to cater this market okay. and not only having the helicopters. All right, give me <laughs> an idea of how far we are lagging behind the aviation businesses in Malaysia, Indonesia, and Thailand, for example. So just to give uh, you a mm. rough uh, order of magnitude, in the mm -hmm. US, you have about 10,000 business jets uh, in the market and 10,000 uh, helicopters on the market. Mm -hmm. In the Philippines, you have about 200 uh, helicopters in the market and about uh, less than 100 uh, business jets in, uh, in the Philippines. In Indonesia, you have more than uh, 200 uh, helicopters mm -hmm. and more than uh, 200 uh, uh, business jets as well. So, uh, and Thailand is growing more than uh, mm -hmm. three times a year. China is growing more than four times a year. Philippines is stagnating. Mm -hmm. So we need, we, we, we are very um, uh, happy to see that uh, there's uh, plans for new airports uh, from the big groups in the Philippines. For the general aviation, we really need to find the place where we will be. That's one uh, thing. So yes, we have been talking uh, airports exactly. all morning. <laughs> so either it will be in Sangli mm -hmm. or it will be in uh, uh, Bulacan or, or, or Clark. Um, well, uh, we hope it will be soon, but uh, we are making our plans and mm -hmm. we need to diversify uh, our bases as well. So we need to be more in Cebu, in Davao, mm -hmm. and being able to cater to uh, business investment uh, that will come in the Philippines. All right, so uh, just really quickly before yes. I let you go, <laughs> you are the perfect person to ask this. Are your books reflecting the Duterte administration's rural development push, meaning are you seeing more flights? I know that 30% uh, of your revenues come from tourists and yes. about 70% come from businessmen. Yeah, so basically, mm -hmm. since the beginning, we want to project uh, the image of uh, a high aviation standard in the Philippines. This is really crucial. I know that uh, the tendency is to cater to the local market, which we do, but we also need to uh, uh, look at the tourists and look at the foreign investors. Because again, we are not competing among each other in the Philippines. We, even if I'm French-Cambodian, uh, we decided to invest in the Philippines because the Filipinos are uh, re um, uh, really great uh, uh, people and uh, they, they have managed to uh, grow, our employees have managed to grow field jets to what we are today. Uh, from two people, we are now 50, more than 50 people, and we will have more than 10 aircraft. So this, we want the, 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 the investors and the tourists to know that they can come and fly safely in the Philippines, and if not, they will just go to Phuket, they will just go to uh, um, Kuala Lumpur. And we, so we want to uh, support the, Philipp the Duterte administration to be able to uh, grow uh, in Davao and Cebu uh, and in Mindanao. 
Looks like perfect timing for your niche. Congratulations, Philip, Thank for you. your grand plans for 2017. I hope it comes true and that we'll see you back Thank here. Thank you. It's, it's the 70th uh, year uh, anniversary of uh, Philippine France uh, uh, friendship. Mm -hmm. So this year, we really have to make a big push for uh, Philjets, for France and for the Philippines.